Hello friends, how are you? Here I am going to show you the new changes made in Macro Extension, version 1.1.0 I am going to open the program. Remember in each tutorial I explain how to update. You are going to update Macro Extension. When you see a message similar to this one, here it tells you, Update Available Macro Extension. You're just going to click on OK. JK King Macro Extension. And you are going to click on the main button of which you are using. In my case, I am using the first of L2 or 2. I will click on Yes. Remember that this message is a reminder that you should save your settings before upgrading. OK, I'm going to continue with the download. I will wait for it to be installed and is executed. Well, here it is already executed, means that it is already well updated. When you update, you close that DS4 Windows. You re-execute it. But before running it, you obviously load your settings. Because before you reload your settings, First go to the new profile, in which I am explaining to you in this tutorial, which would become Mini Full. This profile already saves all settings, just like the others. If you notice this profile, I organized it in a different way, which each macro is separated by a line, to make it obviously more organized. More visible it looks much better this way. OK, the first option. What it does is that as soon as you touch your triggers, automatically. What this does is as if you already have the pressure. Full pull. The macro quick sprint is the one when you are lying on the floor. For example like this. I will show you to understand for every detail of everything. Well, one second. Well, if you notice, if I lie on the floor, as soon as I want to move forward a little bit towards the front, what a macro does, press L3 which automatically stand up, and then you start running. OK, the next macro is the macro anti-recoil. If you play with inverted joystick, choose this one. Do you activate this toggle? This one at 25, which says R2, means that when shooting from the hip, you would have your recoil control. But if you drive a vehicle, you will have a problem there because the sights would begin to drop. Okay, if that happens to you, if you use a lot of vehicle in the games, set it to zero. The next one is the anti recoil. It is normal that pressing L2 or 2 activates. Here you can adjust as you wish. This whole profile already saves all settings. Well, the rapid fire is already activated in the same way as the other profiles. It is activated by pressing share and with the same button, you deactivate it. The next circle shake. What makes you is that your sight vibrate because it has a circular motion on the left and right stick. The stick does not shake yet until you press L2 or 2 but when it comes to aiming, is when it is activated, then for some users. These settings your sight will shake. If it shakes a lot to you just by pointing, adjust this slider and the one below. I recommend that you adjust this too. Goes more this way okay. By default comes 20. 20 okay if you are affected by that adjust them for that they are. Well here the slide cancels. The first two options L3 and L3 are with which I cancel the slide. 
and it is the best way because it works much better for me like this. The third option is what you slide with. In case you slide with a 3, simply switch here to a 3. OK, and at the top, you choose which one you are going to cancel it with. Here is the aim assist V2. I recommend here it always has to be in 3. I recommend you, if you are going to use the always on option, play in standard, because if you play in dynamic, your sights will drop a lot, depending on how much sensitivity you play. If you play, for example, 8, 9, 10, would already start to drop a little more. But in case you play like 6, 5, I wouldn't have much of a problem with that. The macro auto pin, here you adjust to your liking, but never use it. Recommended not to use it in one millisecond. Always set a delay to mark the enemy. The bunny hop, the same you choose. Here you are going to choose what you jump with in the game. For example, if you, in the game you have configured to jump with cross, you can't come here and want to jump with L1. You have to choose exactly with which you jump in the game. The macro sniper automatically, for it holds your breath, you know in case you keep your breath. With another button, everything is simply the same. You choose your remap here and it would already be. Here in this profile I do not recommend enabling V5, V6 or anti-recoil with effects. But as I know, that many people are going to ask for it so I put it. But by default, if you notice by default they come deactivated. You have to take all this into account because for example, this all this profile. The aim assist is located here. In circle shake, for example this, in the right stick, having an effect on the right stick. Then if you enable another macro, which also affects the right stick, there the two of them are going to have interference, and it won't work the same for you anymore. And that's where you have to see what you are activating, and why something stops working. Keep that in mind. Be very aware of what you enable, for example, this macro if you activate it. If you notice these two, I set them to zero. Why? Because when I found it and tried it, there was interference. And that's how there was no problem. And that worked a little better. For example, that's why I left it like this. I also tried all this. I tried all the settings. I adjust in such a way that if you activate it, don't have as much interference. And that works better. And these are the adjustments I made. Before you load the settings, I recommend you to see here first what new settings are available because you are not going to have these settings in your configuration file. Because this is new, if you understand then take a screenshot or record, but take a screenshot of the settings for when you pass it on, you have to put all this in your settings. And that is the new profile I have used. I hope you like it. Okay, now let's go to DS4. Here on DS4, I have modified some profiles with a different code. How to activate the AIM360 will be activated in the same way, but they are operating in a different way. Okay, I'm already starting to test more profiles. Other effects for when it comes out. The new Call of Duty. Then, here are the profiles I have put them by testing. I have posted 10 different profiles. Please try them, because if they don't help me try them out, it is difficult to find you the personal tastes. But me personally, this was the one that did the best for me. Testing aiming. That's why it comes by default, but you can still try. Here this one that says turbo. Some users asked me for an even faster profile for multiplayer and there it is. But please try the profiles anyway. This one works very well. And anything, they let me know. Let me give you a little detail of the macro. Risk extension. Let me pause a little while I run it. Well, here we are going to execute risk macro expansion. Let's wait for it to be executed. I will try to translate this video at angles so that many people will understand it better. 
Here, for example, Wireless DS4. What happens is that supposedly this DS4. Take a pixel here of the enemy and it is to track him more. To be detected, have as a pointing assistance, has some magnetization supposedly. But that's why I put it separately. Depends on you whether you want to execute it or not. I have posted it because some users requested it. I've had it for a long time, but I deleted these options. For the same reason I removed all that magnetization stuff of taking the capture of the image take the pixel and all that okay. I still think this is totally false because I have used it and I have checked and it works the same way for me. But you can test. Supposedly here. This point of view you have to put it here. In the center or wherever you want. As it only needs this point. What it does is that it detects the window. Where you release the pointer. For example click here at. RGB picker. Click here to take a capture. And here is the capture of the game. Then supposedly here. What you do is move a little here. Choose an enemy pixel. And if you notice here is the pixel already chosen. Once you do that you right click. One right click OK. And has to show you. For example the one he showed you below. That he already saved a screenshot of the game. If you go to the desk. You are going to see an image. With this name. What the program did there was that he took an image and saved it. Supposedly that image is going to be like. As I told you, supposedly what this program did here. Here it says look. Draws a supposedly automatically. Like a rectangle. In the pixel of the enemy you took. Then that's supposed to be what I would do. Is that you would already have much more aim assist. Like aimbot. I think is fake. You have to try it and check it for yourself. In case you have that curiosity and realize it yourself. I really don't feel anything like that. But still, if the customer requests it and if there is a way to put it, because you know that I, I apply it but obviously with a warning. For which I am not responsible of whether they are given a permanent ban. Well if you see, here I have also put the mini full. I think that would be all from the guide. I hope everything is clear to you. I hope to be able to translate this guide into English, even if only with subtitles for. All can understand me. Most people. Anything they doubt that they have. Please let me know. Any recommendation, suggestion. You know that if it is in my hands to do so. As soon as possible I would do it. See you later.